have all of this lumber milled for the cabin. I have all of this and then I have all of the timbers over under that black tarp. Now, I slightly strained my foot yesterday on a hike, running in those old hiking boots with Clyde. I basically just strained, I guess it's my posterior tibial tendon. Anyway, it's the arch of the foot from those hiking boots, which are were unsupported and they're worn out, like I said. So I actually ended up throwing them into the garbage can, never to be seen again, so that I don't keep wanting to wear them. The plan is to take this stuff out to the location in the next few days. I need to wait till my foot settles down because it's a lot of hiking and I need to get another pair of boots. The challenge here in finding boots is that there aren't hardly any stores where I live and it's like really the wrong season to be acquiring hiking boots. So I need to travel to go get some. I probably will do that tomorrow and make that a priority. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm just going to drop this wood off here and I thought what I could do anyway is show you what I do for our firewood here for the house in the fireplace which is no wood stove we don't heat the house with the stove or the fireplace but it's just kind of ambiance and um, I'll show you what I do with the slabs the sawmill offcut slabs I haven't really shown that before so I'll just show you kind of a little thing that I have made for that and the little crates I use and and how I do that I built this Basically, it's a prototype, it's falling apart, but I just needed something quickly because after my first year of having the mill, I had just piles of slabs and I didn't really have any organization to it and I didn't, I knew I would use it for firewood for the most part, so I wanted to figure out a way to stack everything and make it really easy to cut up with a chainsaw. So this is kind of what I built um with the intention of rebuilding it and doing something better down the road i had said to myself last year i was going to rebuild it but i just didn't get around to it um it does the job uh so basically all i do is i just come in and cut with a chainsaw and for for us it doesn't really matter for this fireplace the length i think i have it so that it's like 20 inches i kind of go by inches but anyway inches and feet I just have it so that I can cut all the way through, all the way down through the slabs and then I just stack it in these crates that I made with pallets and these two are kind of falling apart. I didn't build them very well. I just kind of quickly threw them together. They need a little bit of repair. I've already kind of fixed this one up a little bit. But yeah, that's just kind of my solution for a good way to make use of the slab wood for firewood. I do take this out to the lake. I have taken some of this out to the lake to put into the cabin as well. And I do have to make sure that it, the pieces are 20 inches or less, I believe. So. Obviously, the design um, has to make it so that you can cut all the way through the lot of wood. But I initially was cutting over here. Cutting between, like, over here so you have room. But I just actually find now, if I just cut it in the middle, it does the same thing. And the wood actually stays in that little spot. It stays like centered. It's, it doesn't fall all over the place. So I, I can get in here. I can step into this section. And it probably doesn't need to be as wide. Um, it could be smaller. I think I haven't decided how I would improve upon it entirely enough to recreate it. So I've just stuck with this for now because it still works good enough. But anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> the 
Did I just drive the bobcat into the carport and unload the wood? I kind of need to organize it a little bit better, but when I first met Steve, he just was stacking the wood on the ground here, but the snow drifts in so much that the wood was always covered with snow in the winter. So I built this a little, I don't know, half of a woodshed, I guess you could call it kind of thing just to keep it up off the ground and keep the snow out a little bit while still allowing it to breathe. I can hear Clyde way down deep in the forest. It's five o'clock. He's been gone since 7.30 or 8 a.m. and his GPS collar is on. Steve is just going to retrieve him. <gasps> oh, Clyde. <laughs> Retrieving the hounds. Retrieving the hounds. It's what we do every day, isn't it, Clyde? What are you doing, that? Clyde? Come on, Clyde. Let's go. What are you doing, Clyde Bear? You got. Mm. Okay. Oh, Bear. Help him, help him Come on, baby Bear. Clyde Bear. What are you doing all the time, Clyde? <laughs> was, pretty far. was he? Yeah. Scout. They, they were almost at the gas line. I saw really? Them. They were on, yeah, on the wall, and then they saw me, they ran for the gas line. <laughs> little, <laughs> little monkeys.